Top 50 Questions That Can Be Asked in the Baja Virtual 2019? Here we with another video of Baja Virtual Presentation Series Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video with your virtual team member to score as much as possible marks. 1. How you going to achieve proposed weight distribution? 2. Why you have chosen this tire size? 3. Why you this track width and wheelbase? 4. How you going to achieve proposed curb weight? 5. How you going to overcome previous drawback? 6. Why you have chosen this much of ride height? 7. What is the reason behind your proposed vehicle structure? 8. How your driver ergonomics are providing comfort to your driver? 9. In which way you are fully optimizing your vehicle structure? 10. Why you have chosen this material for your chassis? 11. Tell us your material composition? 12. What is your meshing ratio? 13. What type of meshing did you provide to your curve portions? 14. How much quantity of nodes and elements does your chassis analysis is generating? 15. What are your constraint points during various analysis? 16. What formula have you used to calculate various analysis? 17. What is your final element size? 18. What type of meshing did you use to your chassis, to your knuckles, hub, axles, wishbone arms? 19. Why you have chosen this suspension type? 20. Have you done dynamic analysis of your suspension system? 21. Why you have this wheel alignment like caster, camber, toe, KPI? 22. If you have coil spring with damper or pneumatic shock absorbers? 23. Question related to material used to manufacture wheel assembly like hub, knuckle, arms, stub axle, etc.? 24. How you going to manage proposed unsprung mass? 25 question can be asked related to various subsystem formulas. 26 why you have chosen this brake circuit? 27 how did your desk thermal analysis explain with constraint point, temperature generated, etc.? 28 reason for the given this shape slots in the desk. 29 why you are using this brake fluid? 30. Is it possible for your driver to apply pedal force of that much? 31. What preventive measures are you taking towards your weight transfer, dive, lift and jerk during acceleration? 32. Why you are using this caliper and master cylinder? 33. Which is the weakest component in braking, suspension, steering and transmission system? 34. Tell us the reason behind your going with oversteer or understeer. 35. Why you are not going power steer. And why your column is collapsible or tilted type. 36. Why you have this steering ratio. 37. How did you calculate your IBJ, OBJ distance and tie rod length? 38. Can your driver manage that much steering effort? 39. How did you calculate your grade ability? 40. Why do you think that your axle will not break during endurance race? 41. Why you are using this CVT and why CVT with this ratio? 42. How you going to arrange your funds? 43. Where you going to reduce weight this time as compared to previous? 44. Have you kept the deviation period in your project plan? 45. Are you going to do any innovation this time and if yes, what in detail? 46. What is an RPN number and severity number in FMIA? 47. What criteria is taken into consideration while team selection and team formation? 48. Which manufacturing machine you going to use, and which welding technology are you using and why? 49. What are your DVP target and their respective testing equipments? 50. Why do you choose this team name? Thanks for coming to us and referring our articles and calculations.
If you have any doubt related to automobile please do comment because we respond to each and every comment of yours. This is at calculations.com signing off. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel to continue with our design lecture series in which we will soon be covering MATLAB, HyperMesh, SolidWorks, ANSYS, etc. Free content related to Baja and Formula student competitions. And also visit our website www.atvcalculations.com for more awesome automobile articles related to students' competitions. Thank you.